So I just want to run through how we do the templates for the snorkels. Uh, this is a Prado, this is the first Prado snorkel we've uh, fitted. Uh, we've got the new armor locks going on uh, Chris's Prado. So all you need for the template is a bit of A4, A3 paper if you've got it, and some masking tape. And I'll just run through how we do it. What you want to do initially is line up paper tight up against the snorkel. And what you can do is just sort of slot it in behind even a little bit, and then grab some masking tape and tape the pieces of paper together. So that's done pretty simply. You don't have to be super, super accurate because we're going to run a texture line along here once we've covered this whole panel with the paper, and then we'll use that as a template and transfer it over. So the good thing about using paper is it conforms really well to the shape of the vehicle. So before you stick it on, you just want to smooth it out, make sure you're getting those lines and contours of the vehicle, and then just stick it together. It's pretty forgiving. So I've put most of the pieces of paper in and around. Now what I'm going to do is just reinforce it a little bit more so none of these move. And then after I've reinforced it all the way around, we'll get the texture out and mark our line. And then we're going to have a really good template where we pick up this top edge here, uh, a little bit of the light there and the guard, and we can transfer that onto the Rhino Hide panel, mark up the Rhino Hide panel and then trim that. We've reinforced it with a little bit of extra masking tape. Now just get a whiteboard marker, so if it does touch the paint underneath, it's not going to permanently mark it. And I give myself a couple of millimetres margin. So then what we want to define here is the extent of where this panel is. And you can actually find the best way to do it is to just run your finger down the crease line, get something like a credit card, and you can pretty much slice, bang up on, up against that line. So this will give you the defining edge of where that panel starts. And if you use something like a credit card or ID, it's not going to scratch your paint underneath. So we can follow that edge right up. And see, that's that line right there. So we're just going to get that crease line and define the edge. Keep some tension on the paper. So you can see the line we've drawn around the snorkel there. I'm just going to get the scissors and cut up tight against that line and then we'll match up all these leading edges of the perimeter of the panel and we'll be able to transfer where the snorkel is on that car panel to the Rhino Hyde panel. So now I've just transferred that template on here, making sure I'm lining up all the edges that I did before. Make sure once it's all lined up, you just want to secure it on here with a few extra bits of tape. And so when I cut this out, I'll cut smaller than I need to, test fit it on the car and see if I need to trim it out just a little bit more. So you're better off cutting a little bit smaller, so you've always got a little bit extra to play with and trim out a little bit more. But um, I gave it about a three mil margin anyways, so I think if we go along this line, we're going to be pretty, pretty close. So on the Prado, we've got an armor lock here. This piece is going to be cut out, so that becomes superfluous. What we can do, though, is pop this out. I'll just show you how to do that now. So you want to undo the base with your key. Like that, take the base off, and then get your thumb in behind it, pop the armor lock out. And now we can relocate this with a 21 millimeter hole drill it on this part of the panel and relocate the armor lock itself. Right, and then we just peel the template off. And this is where we need to cut out for the snorkel now. So to make the cut, we've got tin snips or some workshop shears. Anything heavy duty you've got laying around will cut through it. So it's a two millimeter ABS plastic. You can cut it with uh, workshop shears. There we have it. The snorkel cutout. Now I've gone really tight against there, and certainly on the radiuses, I've, I've come in quite tight. And we can come through here with the uh, snips again and just make any more space that we need once we've tried to test fit on the, on the car itself. This is the, the big test. And look at that. That's 
actually uh, pretty much spot on first go. So I'm just gonna get some sandpaper in here, neaten up the edges so it's nice and smooth, and just pretty much good to go. Uh, the things to note are I'm gonna put an extra armor lock up here on the top edge, just to hold that down because it doesn't have the meat for a year anymore. And also underneath behind here, I'm gonna put one extra armor lock there as well. So that's as simple as drilling a 21 millimeter hole and relocating an armor lock in there. If you need additional armor locks, um, we've, we've got uh, the spare parts on our website also, so you can always grab as many armor locks as you need on there. Um, and yeah, she's uh, pretty much good to go. So we just need to wait the 24 hours for the bases to cure, and then uh, Chris can take this car back out to the bush and keep filming.